Hello friends, this is Chef Kaizad, and today I'll be showing you a recipe for papri magos. This is a recipe that you will not really find uh, in a lot of Parsi restaurants, but it's very very popular and cooked by Parsis in Gujarat particularly, where you get fresh papri in season, and the combination with baby potatoes, fresh papri, and mutton is just amazing. So let's start papri magos. We'll take some oil. We'll add in our whole garam masala, some bay leaf, few peppercorns, a couple of pieces of green cardamom, a couple of cloves, some black cardamom, and a little bit of ajwain or carom seeds. Some onions, a two-inch piece of cinnamon. As you can see, our onions are nice and light brown. Now we'll add in our other masalas. The masala that I have made, it's got ginger, green chilies, and some cumin. We're just going to brown that for a minute. Now we'll add in our other powdered masalas, some red chili powder, coriander powder, cumin powder. Not too much. We already have some cumin in our green masala. A little bit of salt, not too much again. We're going to check it later on and adjust the salt accordingly. Some turmeric and let it cook for another one minute. Now that our masalas are nicely cooked, we're going to add in our mutton. And we're going to brown it on a nice medium-high flame for about four to five minutes. As you can see, our mutton pieces are nice and brown. We're going to add in a little bit of water. The browning of the meat in any curry that you're preparing is a very, very important step. So make sure you do this with patience and love. Now we're going to add in the lovely secret ingredients over here. Some potatoes and some sweet potato. The sweet potato will pick up all the spicy flavors from the curry and also give that curry a little bit of sweetness. The sweet potato goes into our curry. Not too much, just a few pieces. Some baby potatoes, which I have got peeled over here and soaked in water. I'm just going to add a little bit more salt. If you see, I always add salt to my recipes in one or two steps. This is to make sure that as my ingredients are cooking, they're getting seasoned and all the flavor is coming out and getting mixed inside the curry. I'm just going to now put the lid on and let it cook on a high flame for about 15 minutes and then for about 10 minutes on a nice gentle simmer. So our mutton should be cooked by now. At this point of time, we need the potatoes and the mutton to have cooked about 75 to 80%. We'll continue the rest of the cooking after we add the papri. Yep, it looks all right. I'm just going to transfer it out in this pan. Now we'll add in our papri. We'll cover and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes, in which time the papri will get perfectly cooked and our mutton will be lovely, tender and soft. So it's been about 15 minutes. Our curry is cooked perfectly. Our papri is also nice and tender. It's time to plate. I'm now just going to garnish it with a few sprigs of nice fresh coriander. So here we go friends, a wonderful recipe which really showcases the true essence of Parsi cuisine. Meat cooked with some nice fresh vegetables. Papri Magos. Make sure to let us know how you like the recipe and subscribe to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. For more such delicious recipes, stay tuned to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana.